The main problem we face today in the food sector is a decrease in the food quality caused by contamination of pathogenic bacteria. Some of the pathogenic bacteria that contaminate the food are Escherichia coli, Staphylococcus aureus, Salmonella typosa, Enterobacter cloacae, and Pantoea agglomerans. Apart from causing a decrease in the food quality, this pathogenic bacteria can also cause other first effects such as decreased food productivity, causes of various diseases and also decreased taste of food. The treatment that has been given in handling pathogenic bacteria contamination in this food is by providing synthetic preservatives. The synthetic preservatives are formalin and benzoic acid. However, these preservatives are not recommended by the National Food and Drug Agency, BPRM Republic of Indonesia. This is because synthetic preservatives have a bad impact on human health because they contain carcinogenic compounds and cause diseases such as diabetes, reproductive system disorders, hormonal system disorders, and immune system disorders. We are here to provide innovation and solution through the use of local natural research that are widely available in Sumbawa, namely natural preservative innovation from algae extract, which besides being a preservative also has a good impact on health. So now, the question is, why we use algae extract as a preservative and what are the benefits of algae extract and how can algae extract be used as a food preservative candidate? Sumbawa Island has abundant natural research, especially its marine world, one of which is algae. The area of Sumbawa Island waters reaches more or less 3,331.72 square kilometers with 88 macroalgae species consisting of red algae 32 species, green algae 32 species, and brown algae 24 species. Macroalgae are known to contain anti-cancer compounds, anti-inflammatory compounds, anti-diabetic compounds, and a surge of vitamins and minerals. Algae also has a potential as a natural preservative because it contains pathogenic antibacterial properties such as saponins, phenols, tannins, alkaloids, and flavonoids. The steps that have been taking making this research innovation are conducting field observations. The first step is taking algae samples and identifying algae species in Love Beach, Sumbawa Regency. After knowing the species of algae, then proceed with extracting the algae using the chocolatation method to remove the bioactive compounds from the cells. After that, inhibition testing was carried out against several food pathogenic bacteria such as Escherichia coli, Staphylococcus aureus, Salmonella typosa, Enterobacter cloacae, and Pantoea agglomerans. Testing for inhibition of the growth of these pathogenic bacteria used several algae species such as Pedina sp, Galaxaura rugosa, Sargassum cinereum, Sargassum horneri, and Halimedia opunia, with various concentration variations to determine the effectiveness of algae extract concentrations which are effective in inhibiting pathogenic bacteria. The effectiveness of inhibiting the growth of the pathogenic bacteria in this innovation can be seen from the width of the clear zone around the algae extract that have given to the pathogenic bacterial colony. Based on the research we've done, it's been found that several research results are relevant to our research objective. The results are, let's check it out. I wanna show you the graph. The graph is graph A, B, C, D, and E. 
shows that the pathogenic bacteria of algae extract from Lut Beach is the most effective in inhibiting the growth of pathogenic bacteria at a concentration of 100%. The highest inhibition of pathogenic bacteria growth of algae extract from Lut Beach was against pathogenic bacteria such as Escherichia coli, Salmonella typosa, Staphylococcus aureus, Enterobacter colossi and Pantoea agglomerans. The antibacterial activity of algae extract from Lut Beach is included in category with very high pathogenic bacterial ability. The inhibitory ability of this pathogenic bacterial isn't significantly different from commercial pathogenic bacterial such as ampicillin and penicillin. The content of bioactive compounds has ability to damage and inhibit the synthesis of pathogenic bacterial cell walls and then interfere with DNA and protein synthesis. The next is damage the nutrient protein and the last is interfere with enzymatic activity and metabolism of pathogenic bacteria. Based on the result of the research we have done, it can be concluded that the five species of algae used in this study can inhibit the growth of pathogenic bacteria and have the potential as a natural food preservative. I am Robbie Erlanga and I'm Muhammad Abdi Mahesa. We are ready for COPSI 2020 and Meneliti Du Seru!